Hello everybody. When we're taking pictures underwater, it can be hard to know if we got an image with proper exposure. In other words, an image which is not too dark or too light, or where details are lost or blown out. I'm going to show you in this video how to check your camera's histogram on the LCD to make sure that you got adequate exposure underwater at the dive. You take a shot and you immediately know if you got adequate exposure. I'm going to show you how to do that. Now some of these examples were taken with a strobe. This series is mainly about available light, no flash or strobe, but this is just for didactic uh, purposes to show how to use your camera's histo histogram. So let's check it out. Okay, number one, by checking our camera's histogram we can always and immediately know if we have a good exposure on all of our underwater images. This is so important and so cool and very simple. The histogram in our camera acts as a graphic representation of the tonal or brightness distribution in our image. It plots the number of pixels for each tonal value. The horizontal aspect of the graph represents the brightness variation, shadows to highlights, left to right, while the vertical axis represents the number of pixels at a certain brightness level. The higher the graph at any given point, the more pixels of that tone that are present in the image. So the histogram for a dark image will have most of its data points at the left side of the graph and vice versa for a bright image. Now if parts of your image are blown out or clipped, we cannot recover detail in post-processing. And you'll see like at the image represented here at the left, we have lost some detail They're in the shadows. They're gonna, we can't recover that. Now this is a fairly balanced histogram. I've, I've clipped some details to the left, but everything else looks okay. And this is the image it represents. My wife uh, diving with a flying Gurnard there. Okay, I wasn't sure of the focus, white balance, or composition, how that would turn out, but by checking my camera's histogram, I immediately knew I had a decent exposure. And the blown out details to the left represent her black uh, wetsuit. Okay, now, this image is obviously too dark, a uh, seahorse and a diver, and sure enough, the histogram shows most of the pixels skewed toward the left, and you can see the green arrow. I've clipped some of the detail and lost this, which we'll never recover in post-processing. Again, this angelfish at the Blue Huron Bridge, well, obviously too bright, and the histogram confirms that by showing most of the tones to the right or bright side of the horizontal axis, and then the arrow shows I've clipped a lot of the details and I'll never recover the detail. Okay, now, number two, the LCD picture on our camera does not tell us about exposure. It can fool us based on ambient lighting. We need to check our histogram. This is so important. Now here's a couple examples. On a bright sunny day, I took an image of this Barracuda and here's sort of how it looked on my camera's LCD. It looked pretty good. When I get back to the hotel room, unfortunately I see the image was very overexposed. That's because it was such a bright sunny day, I couldn't really tell on my camera's LCD. But if I had checked the histogram, you see the green arrow pointing to the right, all those details are blown. I would have known that I clipped it and the image was too overexposed. Similarly, on a night dive, this is how my camera's LCD looked. It looked pretty darn good, this picture of a squirrel fish. That's because the LCD looks so bright on a night dive when everything else is dark. But when I get back to the hotel, sadly, the image is very underexposed and had I checked the um, LCD image, I would have immediately seen all the pixels are markedly skewed to the left, and I would have seen that the image is very underexposed. Too bad. Okay, number three. There is no such thing as a perfect histogram. Okay, different subjects and backgrounds are going to produce different appearing histograms. Not only that, different photographers have different photographic styles. In general, we like to see kind of a well-balanced, even histogram with a good distribution of pixels to the right and left of the image. Uh, that shows the image is going to have some decent contrast and balance. Here's an octopus and a diver, and here's how the histogram looks. A pretty nice, even balance of uh, pixels. All right? But there's going to be exceptions. Let's look at this image. Here we have a kind of a bright yellow fish, bright yellow body with dark or black stripes on a darker background. So I'd expect the histogram to see three, to show three different peaks, the dark stripes to the left, the darker background kind of to the left in a broader area, then the bright yellow body to the right. And sure enough, that's what we see. The, the, part, the spike on the left represents the dark stripes on the fish. The big uh, mountain toward the left shows the darker background, and then the spike toward the right shows the bright yellow body. So number four, 
Sometimes it's okay to clip detail or have what appears to be a very unbalanced histogram. This bright file fish was illuminated from behind yielding a black background. I didn't want to have a bright or distracting background. I wanted it to be black. And if sure enough, when we look at the histogram, it looks very unbalanced, skewed way to the black, and I clipped a lot of the details, but that's okay in this particular circumstance. Now here, we have a beautiful white frogfish. I did blow out some of the white detail, but overall, it's a decent exposure. When we look at the histogram, wow, all the pixels are almost all on the right side. It looks heavily weighted toward the right, but then again, it's a white frogfish. I did clip a few of the details to the very right, unfortunately. Finally, let's look at this silhouette of a turtle. Well, with a silhouette, we want the silhouetted image to be dark or black or clipped. And um, then we have the blue background, and then it gets real bright toward the lower right, toward the sun. So I'd expect an even area of blue in the middle, a little spike with the uh, brighter sun toward the right. And then the, at the left, we're going to have the uh, clipped detail of the um, dark turtle, and that's exactly what we see. The histogram, the green arrow to the left representing the turtle, the blue in the middle, and then the brighter area represented by the red area and the peak at the right. So there's four aspects, okay? By checking our histogram, we can always immediately know if we have a good exposure. Number two, the LCD does not tell us about exposure. We need to check the histogram. Number three, there is no such thing as a perfect histogram. They are going to vary depending on the subject, background, and your photographic style. And number four, sometimes it's okay to clip detail or have what appears to be a very unbalanced histogram. So I hope you found this helpful. Don't forget to always check your camera's histogram when you're underwater taking pictures to make sure you get a proper exposure. Thanks for tuning in.